In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to YouTube using OBS. This is going to be a beginner's guide. So let's get into it. First thing you need to go to Google and type in obsproject.com. And once you get here, this is basically to download a fresh copy of OBS. If you are on Windows, go ahead and get the Windows version. If you're on Mac, go ahead and get the Mac version. Basically, just click on it. It's going to show up in your download folder. Click on the file. Follow instruction is super easy. Once you have it installed, a fresh copy of OBS should look like this. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and create our first scene and add our source, our camera and our microphone and then go live to youtube first scene is gonna be here you can go ahead and actually create a new scene or just rename the scene that's gonna be there so let's call it camera one and then under the scene you want to go here where it says source so make sure the scene is selected and then under source we're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign and choose video capture device we can call it camera and click ok and on that device, we want to make sure we choose the name of our camera. So right now I have a webcam connected and that's what I'm going to be using as a camera. So it's called Obsbat Meets 2. You may have a different camera. It doesn't matter. Just go ahead and choose the camera they have connected. And under resolution type, you can make custom and actually choose 1920 by 1080 because we're going to be streaming in 1080 or full HD. Everything else, you can leave it the way it is. You can also change FPS to 30 frames per a second and click OK. So now once we have our camera, the next thing we're going to add our microphone by hitting the plus sign again under the same source. And then we're going to click to audio input capture and then we can call it mic and then click OK. And then under device, we want to make sure we choose the name of our microphone. Now I have this microphone connected to my interface. It's called the Roadcaster Duo, but you may have a USB microphone either way. Whatever you have is going to show up here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my microphone here. And and as you can see, we have audio and we have an image. Next thing we're going to do before we go to YouTube, we want to make sure we go to settings here and we're going to make sure our settings are actually good before we go live. We're actually going to go to output and then make sure we go to output mode. And when you get here, you're just going to be on simple so you can put on advanced. Make sure streaming is selected and you want to make sure you go to video encoder and choose NVIDIA NVEC H264. If you don't have it, you can go with x264 but this is a dedicated graphics card which i recommend if you have any different graphics card that's okay use that one as well no problem and then the next thing we're gonna go to rate control we want to make sure you choose constant bit rate and then for the bit rate we want to make sure we actually choose 10,000 kbps key intervals make sure it's set to 2s and then everything else you can actually leave it the way it is or just copy my settings it should be fine and then before you hit okay just hit apply and then we're gonna go to video make sure base canvas resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 and output scaled resolution is set to 1920 by 1080 now after that we're gonna go to stream under stream you want to make sure you go to service and in service choose youtube rtmps and then for server you want to make sure you choose primary youtube ingester server so choose that one and then go here where it says connect account recommended so if this is possible this is gonna be the best way to do it we're gonna go ahead and click to it and this is gonna allow us to connect directly to our youtube channel once you get this prompt you want to make sure you actually click the gmail account that's connected to youtube channel so i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose mine follow instructions and click authorize once you get to the final authorization you're gonna get this message to tell you that obs has connected successfully now we're gonna go back to obs and as you can see my account has been connected as you can see that production testing that's their youtube account i can go ahead and hit apply usually once you hit apply you're gonna get this doc right here this is where the youtube chat is gonna show up here in obs once you go live next thing we can go ahead and actually click manage broadcast and this is where we're going to actually create our stream so we're gonna go here if you have a stream that was scheduled before this is where you can actually manage it but for now we're actually starting a new stream so we're gonna go ahead and create a new stream we're gonna add the title again you can call it whatever you want this 
description let's call it test again you're gonna put the real thing privacy obviously want to make sure you actually set it to be public but for now i'm just gonna leave it unlisted and then want to make sure you choose the actual category i'm gonna leave it to gaming but you want to make sure you choose the actual category that applies to your stream also choose if this is not made for kids so you want to make sure you actually choose that you have a thumbnail you can go ahead and actually select and upload a thumbnail i'm just gonna I'll go ahead and upload a generic thumbnail obviously you want to make sure you upload an actual thumbnail that applies to your stream and once i'm done everything can live the way it is and then we can actually go ahead and click create a broadcast so right now our broadcast is actually created and the only thing you have to do is click start streaming and we're gonna be able to go live so right now we are live if you wanted to verify inside your channel's studio you can go to under your channel and then go to youtube obviously and then under create go to go live as soon as you get here you can see that you have your live stream going on again if you want to make some modification you can go ahead and click here you can click edit and you know add maybe a few things if you are actually monetized you can apply the monetization settings and everything that we could now actually get access to back in obs but other than that we are live you can go here where it says share and then grab the link and if i paste it into my browser you can see that we are actually live so once you're done all you gotta do you can just click stop streaming and it's gonna ask if you are sure you want to stop streaming you can just click yes and that's it obs is a powerful tool for live streaming however it can also be used for recording content like how i'm recording this video now using it to recording content is not gonna be exactly as using it to live stream that's why in my next video i'm gonna show you how to use obs for recording content and i'm gonna give you the best settings to make sure you optimize the quality of your videos and that video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care